Hello again everyone. It's been a little while since I made a video, but if you look at the passenger side of the engine over there, I think you can guess what we'll be doing in this video. And since I got the passenger side head installed already, I'm going to video the installation of the driver's side. First thing you want to do is uncover your engine if you had it covered up and uh, clean out your cylinders for the last time and apply engine oil to them because you won't be able to get to them after the head's on and also something I forgot to mention in earlier videos you want to make sure you tap out your head bolts your head bolt holes excuse me those need to be cleaned out if you didn't do it, you can still do it now, but you'll just have to take extra care when cleaning your cylinders. So I've already gone through and cleaned them and re-oiled them, and they seem to be pretty good. So, just a note to anyone that uses a Felpro gasket set for this engine, there's nothing that indicates the up on this gasket. But if you notice on the deck, these little spaces here, you can see that this part was facing down like that. And this car had no issues with head gaskets or the heads, anything like that. No overheating issues or cooling issues. So that's the way I'm just going to be sticking them back on. And also, after you have your cylinders all oiled down, you want to remove any excess oil you got on the deck because these have to go on dry. So just go ahead and these two a hole here and a hole here and they'll line up on your dial pins. So just go ahead and stick it on just like that. And next you'll want to grab your cylinder head. Make sure the main surface is clean and free of any debris or dirt. And just go ahead, st stick it right on the dowel pins. Try not to like slide it around on the deck too much. Try and find well, where the dowel pin holes are stick it on like that. That'll sit there just fine on those dowels. So what you'll do next now that you have it set on there just go ahead and grab your head bolts. Now something to note it has a shorter ones and longer ones. Or excuse me, these are both short. And here's a long one right here. Now these two shorter ones, notice this one has a stud with a nut on top. This one goes right here. Because that's where a ground strap goes. Now the shorter ones go on this front lower corner and this rear lower corner. The longer ones are every other one, the rest of them. So just something to note. And what you want to do is just put some engine oil or some type of light oil on these threads. Now unlike a Chevy, all of these bolt holes are blind. Meaning they're just bottomed out. But they don't have, they don't go straight through in the coolant jacket or passages or anything like that. So they don't need sealing on them. You can just put oil on them to help them thread in. Now I'm not going to torque these all down, but I will show you a diagram and just kind of explain how to do it. Short ones here. 
And then your long ones go, as I said, in the rest of them. So what you do is you'll just finish putting in the rest of your bolts. And then you're going to need a dagger. Or a tightening sequence. So now I'm just going to show you it's E right here. Now you see it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that's for the driver's side head. For the passenger side, all I did was flipped it, like mirrored it. So instead of this one being, I kept one and two the same, but instead of this one being um, three and four, I just went five and six. And same with this, instead of being five and six, it's three and four, and so on. I just mirrored it for the passenger side. But that's how I do it. I'm sure there's another way, but that way's always worked well for me. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Once you get all your bolts in, torque them down to 85 foot-pounds. But, of course, you don't want to go just straight to 85. Just do it in three or four steps, just to ensure that it's going down evenly. So... I'm going to go ahead and get this head on, and then I'll show you how to do the valve trains, valve train on one of these engines. Very simple. No adjustments necessary for those. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll have another video shortly.